This One News update is brought to you by ANZ. We live in your world. Rod Petrusevich and another former director of failed finance company Bridge Corp are tonight in jail. And from living the life of luxury, the high-profile Petrusevich is facing more time in a prison cell. Three directors were today found guilty on a raft of charges in connection to the collapse. It left more than 14,000 investors, nearly $500 million out of pocket. We look at other cases hurting many other New Zealanders shortly. First, Stephen Smith's been following the trial. He joins us now live. Stephen. Wendy, when Bridge Corp was at its peak, money from investors was uh, literally pouring in and the bosses were living the high life, multi-million dollar mansions and very, very nice cars. But from the high street to here, Mount Eden Prison, it's where we believe Rod Petrusevich and Robert Roost are spending their first night tonight as convicted criminals. These men knowingly misled investors. And today, Rod Petrusevich and Robert Roost were told by Justice Geoffrey Venning, imprisonment is inevitable. For the investors, if they're lucky, they might get 10 cents back for every dollar they invested. You can feel sorry for those people which were sold these lies. Johnny McLean put thousands into Bridge Corp in his early 20s, before the constant fall of finance companies began. Bridge Corp painted a rosy picture, even in the weeks leading up to its collapse in July 2007. And that kind of keep sending you these things and telling you how well the investments are going and how, how stuff in the portfolio is and then we're going to receivership. Patricevich and Roost found guilty on all 18 charges they faced. Stigrad faced 10 charges under the Securities Act. He's been found guilty on six, not guilty on the rest. While on trial last month, Patricevich was asked about his respect for investors. Would you condone the lying to an investor? There's no lying done on my part to any investors. But later that same day, he admitted other Bridge Corp staff had lied to at least one investor about missed payments. Petrusevich didn't tell them, though, saying paying them was more important. We had enough bad press. It was something that wasn't in the best interests of Bridge Corp. The Crown believes today's convictions should bring a sense of closure to at least some Bridge Corp investors. To see justice done and some assurance to the market that it will be that will be cases such as this will be brought, taken seriously by by all concerned, particularly the court. That's where Petrusevich will be in three weeks, back here to be sentenced. Stigrad and Roost will learn their fate next month. Now the maximum term of imprisonment these men face is five years and today the Crown made it clear it will seek a very, very strong sentence for these men. In fact saying stronger than the two to three years that other finance company directors have been sentenced to in the past couple of years. Right, thanks Stephen. Stephen Smith in Auckland.